Previously on Hardline. That's Leo Ray. Says he has information regarding the drug war that's plaguing Miami. I had everything on a platter, and you fucked it up. You sure like cocky? Oh. You're both excellent at improvising and terrible about keeping things quiet. What the hell just happened? You wanted to see me, sir? Mendoza, have a seat. Let's change things up for you, too. Relax. He's not going to make you direct traffic. Well, not yet. So Leo, our good friend, he told us what he knew and he walked right out the door. He came in for protection, I thought. Tell Nick what Leo gave up. Drug bails. You're shitting me. Planes go up, drugs come down. Plop. Right into the Everglades. Show him. A fishing map. Whose operation is this? Some shipbird named Remy Neltz. Two years ago, this Neltz character was nothing, a blip on the radar. Now, he runs the entire operation that employed Tyson Latchford. Sounds like a man of ambition. Yes, he does. I want you two to wade into that mud hole we call a national park and find out just how ambitious he is. Sir, why would Leo rat on his boss and then just walk out into the open? Well, Leo said he didn't feel safe around cops anymore. We're done. Actually, Mendoza, stay a minute. Of course. Your partner can be a bit of a hothead. Well, she believes in what she's doing, sir. <laughs> Good answer. Sit down, son. There are going to be some complaints about the Elmore. Excessive force, etc., etc. Don't worry about it. I'll handle it. Oh, we appreciate that. Hmm. Thank you, sir. How's your mother, Detective? Sorry, sir. Your mother? I'm sure she went through a lot to get you out of Cuba. <laughs> you don't become a detective, especially at your age, without a thorough background check. And you have a lot of background to check. Sir, it's all right. I know what it's like to have a shithead for a father, too. It took me a long time to find my way. And you? You're on the right path, son. Stay on it. Jesus Christ, Leo's map is confusing. The scale is all wrong, but I think this is it. Leo just gave Dawes that map. Just handed it over. Handed over an unbelievably shitty map. Yeah, but what's in it for him? That's what I don't understand. Well, he's obviously being pressured by someone or something. Whoever's dropping these bales, Leo wants us to know about it. So we can take out his competition, right? Leo knows he's done in Miami. I had to guess, he's probably setting up a meth lab in Iowa right about now. What the hell were you thinking anyway, beating him up like that? Leo had an attitude problem. And we could have had an internal affairs problem. There's our girl. Take us toward the drop. Narcos track their bales by radio. The number on Leo's map must be the frequency. And look at that. We got a pig. Get me close enough to a bale and I'll tag it with the tracking dart. That way when someone comes to pick these things up, we'll know exactly where they go. You know, back when the cartels ran their drugs through Miami, these swamps were filled with smugglers. Maybe history's repeating itself. <laughs> Let's hope not. Back then, cartel guys were gunning each other down at their kids' birthday parties. Yeah, I remember. I was just a kid back then, but I saw some crazy shit. Blood on the sidewalk, pit bulls with their throat slashed. How the hell did your mom keep you out of all that shit? Well, it's gonna sound a little corny. She worked hard. She loved me. Yeah, that sounds pretty goddamn corny. <laughs> Mama's boy. <laughs> you never would have guessed. Let's see where it goes. And we 
We got another pig. Lead on, partner. There's at least 10 kilos in that bale. Americans love their drugs. My point is, this is not a small operation. Dawes wouldn't have us out here if it was. So say the cartels are using Miami to move product again. How would they do that? My best guess? Mexico's gotten way too scary. The average smuggler will risk prison by not having his head chopped off by some Zeta. <laughs> Americans do love their drugs. And hey, it's a big deal that Dawes put us on this. You know that, right? Oh, I know. The problem is, the stuff we're doing, we can't exactly bring to a DA. Who gives a shit? This is way more fun. By the way, Captain Dawes, that guy was reckless as hell when he was young. Yeah, I heard that about him. It's just a risky way to work, that's all. Word of advice. You want to get on the Captain's good side? Take the gloves off. Oh, is that what this is? Bare knuckle police work? Now you're catching on. Pull up to the dock. A lot of gators out here. Yeah, I wouldn't sweat it. They're more afraid of us than we are of them. Say thanks. Okay. Thanks. Maybe we should stick to the trail. More afraid of us than we are of them, huh? Let's just get out of the water. We gotta get up to that platform. Try this grappling hook. I borrowed it from SWAT. Ever used one before? No. Launch the little platform. Did the narcos build these things? No. They're old observation platforms. The tourists. A zip line too. You did come prepared. Aim for those planks, they'll make a good anchor. Bullseye. Okay, follow me down.
What's your scanner showing? Have a look around. Police! Stop! Look out! Who are you? I got this one, Nick. It's that cop! Nick, move! Damn it! I got him! Hit one! No problem. Easy now, okay? I got the Easy other one. Now. Yo, you got it. It's okay. We're clear. Looks like that bail missed the target. Got a frequency for you. 120.13. See anything? Whoa. Look at all those pretty points of light. All up and down the lake. Well, let's take their boat and go check it out. Find Nelts first. He's more ambitious than I thought. Shipbags always are. You know the thing that scares me the most about this shrub war? Whoever wins will have a lot of money and a lot of guns. Yeah, when they're done with each other, they're gonna come after us. The 80s all over again. Which is why Dawes wants to stop this now, before it gets to that. So if we're off the books, deep off the books, I'm fine with it. Hey, I'm not arguing. Why don't you sound convinced? Because what's the end game? Put the big boys away. Kingpins and bacon stick. You need a lot more than guns. I don't know. Do you? Playing a dangerous game, detective. Is this place? No idea. Head up by the windmill. And let's get a bird's eye.
Keep your distance until you've scanned the area. I'm not saying that anyone has to do anything. I'm just saying that I'm going to church on Sunday. And it's coming. Right? All right, listen up. We got a buyer coming in. So what? So we're going to look professional. I want patrols, groups of two. Get moving. Probably a few different ways we could take this. The meeting's just breaking up. They're fanning out. Get in a little closer. Head up by the windmill, and let's get a bird's eye. Look, I'm not saying that anyone has to do anything. I'm just saying that I'm going to church on Sunday, and Ned's coming with me. Right, Ed? Keep your distance until you've scanned right, the up. We got a fire coming in. So what? So we're going to look professional. I want patrols, group to do. Get moving. Probably a few different ways we could take this. The meeting's just breaking up. They're fanning out. Get it a little closer. Hey, did you look over there? I want to see what's up. Okay, be obvious about it. Shoot it! Stadium's just north of here. Hold tight. Kid, I came here one.
over the girl's rope. Next thing you know, the girl <coughs> in her hand. All the other girls, they dove in, they're trying to find her hand. Messed stuff up. But, uh, yeah, the place closed down pretty soon after that. They never did find that hand. Where's the meeting? Guy's running late. Hey, you know what? Hey! So, now! Whoa! You got it! You got it! Hey, hey! What's this about? I'd be 100% on. Got your back, Nick. You're gonna be in a black and white? Guys, they're Texas. They drive like regular cars. <clears throat> Is he bringing his own guys? The way Remy's acting, he's bringing half the force. What are you gonna do with your shares? Finally gonna get braces. You know the inside ones though. Put your hands up. What's going on? I don't move. You even a cop? Chill out. <clears throat> Damn. I got him, Nick. <clears throat> Go, get after notes. Nels, get your hands up! Keep them up! Uh, Mendoza, right? Save it! I took Starter's deal. You got some fucked up friends, Mendoza. Wait, what deal? I'm a ghost to you. You hear me? Damn it! I'll call in the chopper. We'll find him before he gets far. Doesn't have many windows, so smoke should be effective. I want a three-man team going in here and another here. Snipers here and here. Looks like Stoddard's got it all under control. Fuck that. We had him first. Nick. You want to make sure it's locked first, Hacha? Huh? I'll find we catch a break. Going in. Who the fuck you are? See if your boys can take some heat off of us. Right there. Get it. Look out. Get out. Look out. Get out. We got this, Sergeant. I said we got this.
advised we have back up en route. Stoddard, this deal, whatever else you want. What the hell was that, Stoddard? Looks like I just saved your life, Mendoza. He was surrendering. Leave it alone, partner. I say you were in danger. Right. He was dangerous because he was talking about your deal. Leave it alone. The hell I will. No, 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 I'm curious. What, did Nels say something interesting, Nick? We're done here. Now listen to your partner. She's a smart lady. Here, before evidence arrives. You're kidding. There you go, Nick. Congrats on a job well done. Smart lady. Now I see why. <laughs> 